Hey everybody, welcome back to Epic Food DFW. So I am so excited about this video right now. We are at Slow Bone in the Design District in Dallas, and this barbecue joint has won so many awards, and so many people say it's the best in Dallas. I absolutely cannot wait. If you can't tell by my cheesy <laughs> grin how excited I am, then I'm just gonna have to tell you, I don't know if I've ever been more excited for a video. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I said we were gonna feast I meant it this looks like a huge plate of food but it's just plate number one this looks and smells like amazing barbecue this is gonna be so much fun so when you're testing barbecue what's the first thing you have to do you got to try the brisket right so that's what I'm gonna do we're gonna start with a bite of brisket and that's kind of the standard right everybody has to know how is the brisket this ring looks just so good and I can smell the smoke on it so I know this is gonna be good mm. Mm. wow tender smoky just incredible flavor there you get a little bit of that fat but really it's about the smoke and just the relationship with the smoke and the brisket here, it's so good. I wanna try another bite of that, and I wanna eat it with some mac and cheese because that's one of my favorite combinations in the world. Mm. Wow. This mac and cheese is really bomb. It's got like some green chilies and some other amazing stuff in it. It's really, really creamy and cheesy when you mix it with that brisket. That's like all-star level right there. Sausage. Look at how beautiful this is. Absolutely gorgeous. I see a lot of black peppercorn in it. I cannot wait to, tie, to just taste this thing. Mm. I've never had that much flavor in a piece of sausage before. It just jumps. I mean, my taste buds are still dancing. I'm trying to decide exactly how to describe this. There's a great little tiny subtle heat there's a saltiness to it. There's the crunch and the pop of that skin. That was just the regular sausage. I'm gonna taste this jalapeno and cheddar one now because my gosh, that was crazy. Mmm. Wow. This is the best sausage I've ever had. And I can't pick a favorite between the two. That one's got a lot of kick, the creaminess of the cheese. This is crazy. I mean, this sausage. Oh, okay. The brisket is bomb, and it really is. But this is the best sausage I've ever had, and that is saying a lot because I get sausage everywhere. It's one of my favorite things. This is the first plate, and I am so impressed. I got to get in on this right here just before we pass this over to Joy because I cannot wait for her to try this. Wow. This is absolutely excellent. This is one of the best plates of barbecue I've ever had and I'm really excited because it's still just plate number one. I have not had sausage this good since we've been in Budapest. In Budapest, like that is all they make there. They've been doing that for hundreds or thousands of years. This is incredible. This is like the Mac Daddy of sausage. This is so good. I'm already starting to get full, but I'm salivating because this looks so good. After the first plate, I am not even gonna talk about these ribs. I'm just gonna eat them because they just look so good and my expectations now are sky high. Look at that. Look how meaty and huge and delicious with this amazing dry rub. This just looks amazing. Wow. <laughs> I tried to take a bite and I couldn't even chew through it because it just fell apart in my whole hand there. Wow. This rub is incredible. It's peppery. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it. It's definitely got a little bit of salt 
and the rib meat is just so tender. You can tell that this has been painstakingly smoked for hours and hours and hours because it's just tender, fall off the bone, but it's the good kind of fall off the bone. It's not the mushy kind of just uh, rib. This is the perfect texture and it's got the perfect flavor. This is award-winning ribs right here for a reason. This is so, really so good. Mm. That bite, a little fattier than the last one. So smooth. Mm. It's just melting in my mouth. That is so good. Okay, now we're gonna talk chicken. I was not expecting to find good fried chicken at a barbecue joint, but look at this. Is that not insane? I mean, it's almost too hot for me to even hold because it's so fresh. It's absolutely phenomenal. So this chicken has won on multiple occasions, like top five chicken, best chicken in all of DFW in a barbecue joint. So I got me a bite ready because it was too hot. It's still steaming, but I'm going to give it a try and hope I don't burn my face off. Mm. I don't know if I've ever eaten so many things at the same place that make me go like this. <laughs> Everything is so good. I don't know what, how they bred this, but it has these humongous crunchy pieces that every single time you chew, it's just like this real deep, delicious crunch. This is some of the best fried chicken I've ever had in my life. And I know I've said that about everything we've eaten today, but I mean it, this is like the premium barbecue that I've ever had. This is at the very top of the list so far. I love this. This smells so amazing. I don't know which one to try first. You know, I'm going with the chicken because I've been really curious about this for it to be known for DFW's best chicken. Let's check it out. Mm. Wow, I don't know if you can see it's still smoking. This is delicious. It's it's amazing. It just kind of falls apart in your mouth, but it's so, so crunchy. This is pure chicken. They must take a lot of time to make this. This is one of my favorite things that I've had so far. It's incredible. Now check this guy out. <laughs> it's massive. I'm in hog heaven. They went to heaven and I'm getting in on that. Yep. Wow. What in the world? I don't know what seasonings they put on this. Um, yes, please. I want to take this home so I can eat it all the time. This is amazing. It's so tender, but I love how it's crunchy on the top too and then soft in the middle. And it's just falling apart because it's that good. This is delicious. Okay, I'm getting really full, but I'm super excited about this. This is a smoked pork chop, and this took three weeks. This thing, three weeks in the making. So they brined it for two entire weeks to make it nice and tender and to give it some really amazing flavor on the inside. And then after two weeks of brining, they smoked it low and slow, get that smoky deliciousness in there, and then they put it back in the cooler, let it set for another week just to develop more flavor, and then they smoked it again, and then they put it on the stove top to give it a little caramelized, I mean, it's just, what a process, it smells amazing. I've never seen a pork chop like this before in my life. I am so excited to taste this. Mm, man, that is so amazing. So there's a fat cap right on the edge of the pork chop. And what's happened to that as it's gone through this crazy process is it's gotten extremely crunchy and delicious. It's got a buttery kind of smooth flavor, but then the smoked pork chop has this deep smokiness as well. I mean, this is just absolutely fantastic. This is a crazy dish right here. This is really, really good. Look at all the seasonings on that and that perfect caramelized. I've never eaten a pork chop that is three weeks in the making and I love pork chops.
Mm-hmm. It's juicy and there's so much flavor inside the meat because of the process. These guys are artists. I'm very impressed by this. Oh my gosh, that was seriously the best barbecue experience I have ever had. Without a doubt. I mean, everything about it was spectacular. It absolutely lived up to the hype. What was your favorite thing today? My favorite was the sausage. It just, I mean, it just escalated the flavor every single time and it just made me feel like I was in Budapest again where they are like the kings of sausage making over there. So that was so, so good. I was surprised. It was absolutely phenomenal. I mean, just to give you an idea, like we've, I, I've eaten barbecue everywhere. We've had Kansas City's best. We've been all over Texas yeah. and this turned out to be my number one and there are places I haven't eaten so that may change someday but this is absolutely phenomenal. This is the best rib I've ever had. This is the best sausage I've ever had. Top three brisket best and chicken. some of the best <laughs> fried chicken I've ever had. I mean this is an amazing spot. This is a must visit. Do not skip this one. If you're coming on vacation, this should be your first stop. If you live here and you've never eaten here, shame on you. This is so <laughs> freaking good. We really hope you enjoyed it. See you next week. Our next five videos are Texas barbecue, so make sure and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing.